is an egg that was supposed to hatch like 10 days ago when the other one hatched, but it never did. So I'm going to cut it open and just see what happened. I did some research, um, and it basically said that if it didn't hatch on its own, then it probably shouldn't hatch. Uh, that's what a lot of people said anyway, because essentially if they don't have the ability to hatch, then if you help them, they might not do well anyway. So they might have failure to thrive. So I didn't help it, but what you do need to do when it comes to helping uh, Crustococcus hatch is that if they slit their egg, then that pretty much gives you permission to get them out right after that. So you could wait a couple minutes and then if they're not coming out, then, or maybe wait an hour or something and then just uh, get them out or even just get them out right away because uh, at that point they should be breathing so you need to get their head at least out of the egg to make sure they're breathing which is what I screwed up the first time or I guess the second time I hatched babies and that's why I only have four babies right now it's because the first two hatched fine the second clutch only one hatched the other one slit the egg but I didn't help it out and it passed away and then this one one just hatched out on its own just fine and then the other one is this egg over here so I have a tool that I am going to use to try to cut this open, I guess. So here, unfortunately, my tool is kind of dirty, but the blade isn't. So um, I don't expect to find a baby in here because look at this egg. Like, it's kind of interesting. Um, I couldn't tell. Oh, there's a little tiny centipede on it. That's weird. Okay. Uh, anyway, there shouldn't be centipedes in my terrariums, but things happen, I guess. So the egg is kind of discolored, but I was wondering if that was just because it was exposed or maybe because I put it in dirt and I moved it. So it's kind of like discolored in weird spots, but there's no cracking of the egg. I never rotated it, even though I didn't move it from one terrarium to another. And it's kind of odd because the other one that did hatch, I did drop. Like I didn't drop it. Like I dropped it in the terrarium when I was trying to uh, get it out and it rotated and I didn't know which way it was, but either I got it right or it doesn't actually matter too much, but I'm trying to just clean it out a bit. Oh, here we go. Can't tell. I don't know. I'm expecting to see even like part of a baby or possibly um, like nothing, but it seems like maybe this was a crack. No, but there is some like irregularity right there I feel like but anyway I won't, won't if there is a baby I don't want to like crush it but at the same time I have a feeling that there's just nothing I don't want to cut it I have a feeling there's just like nothing in here or at least like something really gross okay, I really don't want to cut myself but at the same time it's kind of leathery so yeah I'm literally cutting towards my finger right now it's very intense it's almost papery, which I don't know if that's like, I've just from cutting eggs before, like old eggs, that I want to see what's inside. I've noticed that they're kind of papery. Okay, I'm just going to go around here. Okay. So now, we should be able to see what's inside. Okay, there appears to be a gecko in here. Hopefully I'm not like I don't know. I'm expecting to see a dead gecko. If a live gecko is in here, I'm probably going to be pretty mad with myself. But at the same time, it's been 10 days since the other one hatched. And what I assumed was that if one hatched, then the other one should hatch as well. Oh, man. Oh, no. I was wrong. No, this egg's just bad. Yeah, nothing, nothing ever... Um, developed in here. Oh man, it smells. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh man, it's bad. Okay. Um, I feel like this is pretty interesting, so this video is going to go a little bit long, but I'm going to finish cutting it open. Oh goodness. I really, like, I can't smell it right now, but I really don't want to. So now that I know there's nothing in here, let me just cut it open. Okay, so either, I think it was just infertile, or maybe something went wrong. Oh goodness. 
but nothing in there. But I'm going to finish cutting it open because this is pretty interesting to me. I want to see. I'm just going to put this back into a terrarium, let the isopods eat it. I have one large terrarium that doesn't have anything in it except isopods, so I'll just throw it in there. Yeah, it's just... Um, something should have developed by now, considering that the other egg hatched. So as you can see with that... Oh goodness, it's so bad. <laughs> just nothing in there. So, that's this. Um, have a great day. Don't cut up and eggs I don't think um but this one just was infertile for some reason it just didn't it didn't it went bad so it, I don't know what happened but the other one hatched out fine